Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. So be sure to like and subscribe. I got all my betting links in the description below to get in on the action. Go ahead and turn on those notification bells. And yeah, we'll hop in it here. Busy slate today. Starting with the Miami Marlins versus the Cincinnati Reds. Reds opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Miami plus 110 with the over under at 10. Miami coming into this matchup 59 and 56. The Reds 60 and 56. Pitching for the Marlins is Johnny Cueto with an ERA of 5.32. Pitching for the Reds is Graham Ashcraft with an ERA of 5.18. Cueto, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs at four strikeouts. Ashcraft, his last start, he pitched eight innings. Gave up three runs at five strikeouts. Miami coming off a Reds win yesterday, three to two. Uh, Miami is just 2-14 and 14 on the road. Not a good road team here. Cueto's only pitched twice this or not. I'm, he has the last two games. He's coming off back-to-back four-run games here. I think I'm going to lean with the Reds at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Colorado Rockies versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 230. Colorado plus 190 with the over-under at 9.5. Rockies coming into this matchup 45 and 68. The Brewers 61 and 54. Pitching for the Rockies is Chris Flexen with an ERA of 7.82. Pitching for the Brewers is Adrian Hauser with an ERA of 4.19. Flexen, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Hauser, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run. At five strikeouts, Colorado beating the Brewers yesterday, seven to three, a nice win for the Rockies. You know, yeah, Flexen has not been good on the mound here. Uh, he's given up a lot of runs. Uh, Hauser coming off a one run game here. I'm going to take the Brewers at home only because Flexen's been horrible on the mound, but, um, yeah, we'll take Brewers at home in this one coming off a loss yesterday. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Oakland Athletics. Rangers opening up as road favorites at minus 280. Oakland plus 230 with the over under at 8.5. Rangers coming into this matchup 68 and 46. Oakland 32 and 82. Pitching for the Rangers is Jordan Montgomery with an ERA of 3.40. Pitching for Oakland is Austin Pruitt with an ERA of 3.35. Montgomery, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs at six strikeouts. Pruitt, his last start, he pitched one inning. Gave up two runs at two strikeouts. Rangers on an eight-game winning streak. Back-to-back -back wins against Oakland. Uh, they're playing very well right now. Seven and one against Oakland. Six and one on the road against Oakland here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to roll with the Rangers on the road. Next matchup, we got the Minnesota Twins versus the Detroit Tigers. Twins opening up as road favorites at minus 160. Detroit plus 135 with the over under at eight and a half. Twins coming into this matchup 60 and 55. Detroit 50 and 63. Pitching for the Twins is Bailey Ober with an ERA of 3.21. Pitching for the Tigers is Alex Fiedo with an ERA of 5.80. Ober, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs at three strikeouts. Fiedo, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs at two strikeouts. Minnesota, coming off of a, a bad Detroit loss yesterday, uh, losing 6-0. to zero. Just couldn't get anything going yesterday. Um, not the greatest pitching matchup here. Fido has not been that good. Coming off a zero run game, but prior uh, two very rough starts on the mound here. I like the Twins to bounce back. Uh, I mean, they were on a nice win streak before that bad performance yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna take the Twins on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Tampa Bay Rays. 
Rays opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Cardinals plus 130 with the over under at 9.5. Cardinals coming into this matchup 49 and 65. The Rays 69 and 46. Pitching for the Cardinals is Dakota Hudson with an ERA of 4.10. Pitching for the Rays is Jalen Beeks with an ERA of 6.27. Hudson, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs at seven strikeouts. Beeks, his last start, he pitched one inning, gave up zero runs at three strikeouts. St. Louis coming off a Tampa Bay loss yesterday. Um... They're 0-5 on the road against Tampa Bay. 0-5 straight up against the Rays. They have not been able to beat the Rays here. And uh, I'm going to roll with Tampa Bay at home. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Washington Nationals. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 180. Washington plus 160 with the over-under at 9. Washington coming into this matchup 60 and I'm sorry, 50 and 64. Phillies 52 and 62. I'm sorry, 62 and 52. Uh, pitching for the Nationals is Mackenzie Gore with an ERA of 4.34. Pitching for the Phillies is Michael Lorenzen with an ERA of 3.48. Gore, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Lorenzen, his last start, he pitched eight innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Washington, Coming off a of Phillies win yesterday, uh, both teams split a game in that doubleheader yesterday. Uh, you know, Washington still struggled against Philly. 3-10 and 10 on the road against the Phillies. 5-15 and 15 straight up against the Phillies here. Pretty even pitching matchup right now, and uh, I'm going to take the Phillies at home. Next matchup, we got the Atlanta Braves versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Braves opening up as road favorites at minus 280. The Pirates plus 230 with the over under at 9.5. Braves coming into this matchup 71 and 40. The Pirates 51 and 62. Pitching for the Braves is Max Freed with an ERA of 1.69. Pitching for the Pirates is Quinn Priester with an ERA of 8.69. Freed, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts. Priester. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. The Braves uh, coming off a, a nice uh, comeback win against the Pirates yesterday. A nice win for the Braves. Love Freed on the mound here. Uh, coming off a zero run game. Two out of his last three games, he's thrown for no runs. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take the Braves on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Houston plus 120 with the over under at 9.5. Houston coming into this matchup 65 and 49. Baltimore 70 and 43. Pitching for the Astros is Christian Javier with an ERA of 4.39. Pitching for Baltimore is Jack Flaherty with an ERA of 4.28. Javier, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up three runs, had four strikeouts. Flaherty, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Houston, on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Baltimore win yesterday, a, a big a comeback win yesterday. They were down a bit, came back and win. They're 15-5 and five on the road against Baltimore, where they've been very good here. Pretty even pitching matchup, and... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Astros plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the New York Mets. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Mets plus 105 with the over under at nine. Cubs coming into this matchup 59 and 55. The Mets 51 and 62. Pitching for the Cubs is Kyle Hendricks with an ERA of 4.20. Pitching for the Mets is David Peterson with an ERA of 5.65. Hendricks, his last start, he pitched four innings, gave up seven runs at three strikeouts. Peterson, his last start, he pitched three innings, gave up zero runs at one strikeout. 
The Cubs coming off a Mets win yesterday, three to two. Mets just two and eight in their last ten. Uh, Cubs seven and two against the Mets. I mean, they're playing very well right now. Five and one on the road against the Mets here. Um, I still just don't trust the Mets, and uh, I'm gonna take the Cubs on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Kansas City Royals versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up as road favorites at minus 225. The Royals plus 185 with the over under at nine or the over under at ten and a half. Royals coming into this matchup 37 and 78. Boston 58 and 55. Pitching for the Royals is Jordan Lyles with an ERA of 6.08. Pitching for Boston is Nick Pavetta with an ERA of 4.19. Lyles, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. Pavetta, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up three runs, had ten strikeouts. The Royals coming off a uh, big Boston win yesterday, 9-3. to three. Uh, Boston, 2-8 and eight in their last 10. They are not playing well right now. Uh, Kansas City, they are just 2-8 and eight on the road against Boston. Uh, Lyles, you know, hasn't been good on the mound, giving up a lot of runs here. I think this is definitely a matchup Boston needs to take advantage of with Lyles on the mound. Get back on track here, and uh, I'm going to take the Red Sox at home. Next matchup, we got the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Cleveland Guardians. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 165. Cleveland plus 140 with the over-under at 8. Toronto coming into this matchup 64-51. and 51. The Guardians 55-59. and 59. Pitching for Toronto is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 3.20. Pitching for the Guardians is Logan Allen with an ERA of 3.65. Gosman, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up three runs, had six strikeouts. Allen, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Toronto, coming off a Cleveland loss yesterday, 1-0. Just going to get anything going. Um, I do like Gosman on the mound. I mean, I'd say it's a pretty even pitching matchup. I still like Toronto. I think they can bounce back. Couldn't get nothing going yesterday, but uh, I think they'll hit fine today. And I'll take Toronto on the road. Next matchup, we got the New York Yankees versus the Chicago White Sox. Um, Yankees. Opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The White Sox plus 105 with the over under at 8.5. Yankees coming into this matchup 59 and 55. The White Sox 46 and 69. Pitching for the Yankees is Luis Severino with an ERA of 7.74. Pitching for the White Sox is Mike Clevenger with an ERA of 3.72. Severino, his last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up five runs at four strikeouts. Clevenger, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs at two strikeouts. The Yankees coming off a White Sox win yesterday, seven to one. A nice win for them. Uh, you know, Severino coming off some rough starts on the mound. Clevenger has been pretty solid on the mound for the White Sox, but I'm still going to take the Yankees on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the Los Angeles Angels. Angels opening up as home favorites at minus 135. The Giants plus 120 with the over-under at 7.5. Giants coming into this matchup 62-52. and 52. The Angels 57-58. and 58. Pitching for the Giants is Ryan Walker with an ERA of 2.52. Pitching for the Angels is Shohei Otani with an ERA of 3.39. Walker, his last start, he pitched two innings, gave up zero runs, had three strikeouts. Otani coming off back-to-back -back zero run games here. Uh, Angels did beat the Giants yesterday 7-5, snapping their big losing streak that they were on. Um, I do like Otani on the mound. He's been playing great. Giants... 1-9 on the road. Not that playing that great on the road here. Uh, I like Otani here, and uh, I'm going to take the Angels at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. 
Dodgers opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Arizona plus 115 with the over under at 9. Dodgers coming in in this matchup 66 and 46. Arizona 57 and 57. Pitching for the Dodgers is Bobby Miller with an ERA of 4.26. Pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 3.38. Miller, his last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up one run, had three strikeouts. Kelly, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs and nine strikeouts. The Dodgers on a three-game winning streak, beating Arizona 5-4 to four yesterday. Uh, Arizona, they're on a seven-game losing streak right now. Not playing very well here. Pretty even pitching matchup, and um, I'm going to take the Dodgers on the road. Then the last matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Seattle Mariners. Padres opening up as home favorites. I'm sorry, road favorites at minus 135. Seattle plus 115 with the over under at 8.5. Padres coming into this matchup 55 and 59. Seattle 61 and 52. Pitching for the Padres is U Darvish with an ERA of 4.41. Uh, currently looking, it doesn't have a pitcher listed for Seattle, but I'll double check. Yeah, it's undecided in that game. So so uh, we'll see who ends up pitching for Seattle later in this one or later when that info does come out. Uh, Darvish, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, had four strikeouts. Padres on a three-game losing streak, losing to Seattle yesterday 2-0. to zero. Seattle, they're playing great. They're on a six-game winning streak. They're playing well right now. Um, we'll see who ends up pitching for Seattle, but I think Seattle's a good underdog today, and I'm going to take the Mariners plus one and a half at home. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.